Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. As we head into the summer, a person in Kansas has already been diagnosed with West Nile virus. It's the first case of the year and state officials say it means the West Nile season could be here much earlier than years past. KSMT News reporter James Ryan has more on what this means for us here in the state. Brooke, along with the first case in Barton County, the Kansas Department of Health and Environment announced today that mosquitoes in Shawnee County have tested positive for West Nile. This comes just as Topekans are spending more time outside in the sun. It's a warm, breezy day, and the campground here at Lake Shawnee is full of people enjoying the Kansas sun. But one question lingers over the summer fun. Are you wearing bug spray? No. Yes. Do you have bug spray? Yes, lots of it. Are you putting it on? Yes, all the time. And that's a good thing because while this is the time of lake time fun, it's also the season for West Nile. And state officials say it's nothing to mess around with. The Kansas Department of Health and Environment say the virus is spread through bites from infected mosquitoes. Symptoms can range from a slight headache and fever to swelling of the brain and in rare cases, death. In Kansas last year, there were 34 cases of West Nile. 21 were hospitalized and five people actually died from the virus. Jessica Scarborough is camping out at Lake Shawnee for her daughter's birthday. As a mom, she says things like West Nile are always in the back of her mind during trips like this. I have little ones. So I take all precautions necessary to make sure that they're not exposed to it and they're protected. Along with bug spray, experts say mosquitoes are most active when the sun is rising and setting and to consider staying inside during these times. Still, some people say they're not worrying about West Nile. <laughs> and don't plan to anytime soon. You know, West Nile is supposed to come early this year. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not worried about that guy. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Along with being careful outside, KDHE also says you should protect yourself at home as well. They suggest keeping windows and screen doors in good condition and draining any standing water from things like flower pots and bird baths. Live in the studio, James Ryan, KSNT News. Thank you, James. Also, the health department says two birds they tested in Shawnee County had the West Nile virus.